This video is the last in a series of three videos providing an overview of dbGaP's submission process. The other videos are Part 1, Register Your Study, and Part 2, Submit Your Data. If you want more background on dbGaP, see the recent video, What is dbGaP? A link to that and the other videos in this series is at the end of this video. The review process for your study begins after all of your data sets are submitted and you have received your study accession number. This video first describes the quality control or QC checks that the dbGaP curators perform during review, then briefly describes the release process. These QC checks are critical to ensuring that dbGaP data are internally consistent. The dbGaP submission guide has a list of 30 common questions, and number 27 is called, What happens once I submit my core data files and phenotype files? We'll review the major points in number 27, however, please carefully read the whole section. The first QC check is an automated pre-processing step that detects many types of errors. There is a link here to a web page with an extensive list of possible errors and warnings. Here are a few of those errors. Empty rows or columns, duplicated rows, and missing IDs. We also recommend question number four in the submission guide about what is a dbGaP subject. Please read this carefully for the correct formatting of your subject IDs. Perhaps most importantly, pre-processing checks that the consents registered in the submission system by your genomic program administrator matches the values you submitted in your subject consent data dictionary, as well as the consent codes in your subject consent data set. And please keep in mind that each person must be consented to a single consent group. Any mismatches between these two sources stops the pre-processing check. Question number six in the guide reminds you to double-check that subject IDs are two-step de-identified. Along with consent consistency, the pre-processing step ensures that IDs and sex values are consistent within the core files. Finally, pre-processing also checks between the core files and molecular data submitted as PLINK or VCF files. This is a view of the dbGaP data model as represented in the second video in this series, and it shows that IDs used in the molecular data must be listed in the subject sample mapping file. When processing is complete, you will receive an email with the results of the check, and you can consult the same web page shown earlier to understand any errors and warnings that may be in the results. The second group of QC checks are what we call preloading QC checks. Please refer to section number 27 of the submission guide, QC Checks, Part 2. These involve in-depth manual and scripted checks performed by phenotype and genotype curators. It is the phenotype curator who coordinates the entire study release and will work directly with you to address any items of concern. We have summarized the most common errors in the submission guide section number 16. How do I verify that my dataset and data dictionary files will pass the phenotype QC tests? We highly recommend that you review this section prior to submitting your study. Let's look at the role of the genotype curator, who processes all submitted molecular data except for high-throughput sequence data. They run more QC checks for sex values and unintended duplicates, then split the files according to consents. Files are grouped as submitted data, genotype QC, and sample info. Other QC checks are a combination of phenotype and genotype curation. For example, curators use a dbGaP program called GRAPH, Genetic Relationship and Fingerprinting, to check for things like inconsistencies between molecular data sample IDs and phenotype sample IDs. The genotype curators may also use a dbGaP tool called GraphPOP, where POP stands for population. 
This is used only if your study subjects have been designated non-sensitive for release of genomic summary results. GraphPOP can identify allele frequencies that deviate from the expected range of known allele frequencies, and it can detect differences between your submitted ancestry and a computed ancestry for a large number of samples, which can help uncover errors in genotyping calls. Let's switch gears a bit and discuss high-throughput sequence data. These include BAM, FASTQ, and CRAM files, and are processed by a sequence pipeline. Once your subject and sample IDs and consents are loaded, an automated email sends the sequence metadata template to be filled out. We check that every library ID is unique and that these IDs match to a sample that belongs to a consented individual in the subject consent dataset. Required columns, which have a blue background, and columns that are grouped together are checked to make sure that information is not missing. Please do not change any column or sheet names. It is essential that you use these standardized texts in the drop-down menus. The most frequent error is that the design description is too short. As the comment states, this description is a brief materials and methods section. The description should be at least 150 characters long. Please upload the completed template through the submission portal. Once the sequence metadata is validated, sequences can be uploaded. The uploaded sequences must match the MD5s claimed in the sequence metadata, and do not upload sequences that were previously uploaded and processed for release. That's it for the QC checks. Number 28 in the submission guide talks about study release. Typically, study processing is completed six to eight weeks following receipt of final, error-free datasets. After all expected data components have been submitted and processed, dbGaP will send an email to review the preview site and the Subject Sample Telemetry Report, or SSTR. We will also request approval from the PI or PI assistant to release the study. The study is released two to three business days after we receive the approval. That's all for Part 3. Be sure to refer to the dbGaP submission guide, and you can send questions to dbgap-sp-help at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov.